Now we have, we have uh, the Taikonaut Chinese ones, of course, are entering into the Shenzhou 7. Which door is exactly? This is the, the very big door for the Shenzhou 7, isn't it, Professor Yang? I'm not sure. Yeah, and now we see the three of them are coming in in a kind of a order and they have to seem to be sliding down the ladder with the very heavy and very sophisticated spacesuit. It's much more graceful when they're in space. <laughs> when they're weightless. They just fl float around. Well, you know, no wonder because what they're wearing is really for the outer space. Yes. It's, uh, it's very different in zero gravity. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, in fact, you can see you, you can imagine a an astronaut in a spacesuit in space. He can grab two ten-ton spacecraft and move them with his hands. That sounds like Superman to me. Except that you just you have to just pull and be persistent. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This around. is the live picture we are seeing right now. Once again, is the from the return module with the astronauts trying to find their seats and their, their places. Uh, we see a lot of wires. Uh, certainly, those uh, are the place the things are going to be strapped up uh, for the safety of these uh, three astronauts. Uh, they are taking their turns to come into uh, Shenzhou 7, China's uh, third in space flight, uh, during which uh, mission the first uh, spacewalk is going to be conducted. Now we see the second astronaut coming in. The technician is easing him down slowly, supporting part of his weight so that he doesn't have to do it all with his arms. Mm -hmm. There are really quite a lot of cooperation, as you can see from the live signals uh, between the three Chinese astronauts and their technicians. That is not only the technicians helping them into uh, to board the Shenzhou 7, but also some of the gestures they've been using through their training and also through their daily life. Uh, and now it is really working. Um, it really reminds us of the uh, moment uh, that uh, uh, some of the Chinese uh, previous uh, Taikonauts during the Shenzhou 5 or Shenzhou 6 mission, they were doing this OK sign with their uh, uh, fingers and gestures and all of the people in the Central Command and Control Center were smiling at the moment uh, because they know everything will go on very well and of course during the uh, Shenzhou 7 mission, there will also be many moments like that, and CCTV International is bringing you the live signals of all of some of these, uh, some of these exciting moments with the astronauts saying hi to the people on the Earth from the outer space. Is this the third one that we are seeing right now? It seems like to be the third one, the third Chinese astronaut. A lot of these astronauts have been trained so hard, not only physically, but also mentally. Uh, Professor Gao, you might know that uh, some of them have been tested with their heartbeat once they are being informed that they will be on the mission. Mm -hmm. It's a test of how nervous they are, how they are prepared for it. 
and uh, it might be one of the most important uh, you know numbers that people are looking at to see whether they are qualified for a job. Absolutely, I think the uh, astronauts are really a very special species of human beings because <laughs> they are That's expected. Put. They are expected to perform miracles, you know, under the extreme mm -hmm. circumstances, mm -hmm. and also with a lot of uncertainty <laughs> because anything is possible in the outer space, mm -hmm. and anything is possible in a great mission like this. So I think uh, they not only need to keep their physical fitness in place, but also you know, moral as well mm -hmm. as spiritual and psychological fortitude and composure and collection of their wits under all kinds of circumstances. So I think this is the challenge for these uh, astronauts. I'm sure that they have been tested by all kinds of you know, sudden unexpected things you know, played upon them by the scientists, by the psychologists, by their trainers, etc. So once they are moving into the you know, spacecraft as they are doing right now, being seated for the uh, a boost off, for the lift off, they are all well tested and mm. well prepared. That's right, and all of the three are about, uh, some of them already, to board the Shenzhou 7, and the Shenzhou 7 is waiting for their final moment to be launched uh, into the outer space. Uh, we are being informed that there is going to be a window opportunity from uh, 21 hours to 22 hours Beijing time today on Thursday when the space search uh, rather spaceship is being launched by the Long March 2F rocket and let's still talk a little bit about these uh, wonderful uh, astronauts that uh, when you were saying these are very special creatures <laughs> that were special species, special of, species human beings, of human yes. beings that's an interesting way that you are describing uh -huh. these uh, wonderful and outstanding astronauts Professor Louise uh, uh, I know there have been so many generations of different astronauts in the US space exploring history just looking at the pictures and looking at the way that the Chinese astronauts are communicating with the public, uh, how do you think they are doing and how much do you think uh, these guys will be able to finish and fulfill their mission?